March Madness is underway, and the big game tonight, TCU versus Syracuse. Horn Frogs are trying to survive the first round, and for fans, it is long overdue, 20 years to be exact. Here's Matt Howerton. What do you remember about 1998? I remember. What do you remember? Did you have a Furby back then? What was your favorite? I sure did what have was a your Furby. Favorite to back then, Bill Clinton was president. Furby was a top-selling toy, and Titanic stole our hearts at the theaters. But if you ask TCU fans, we had some bad coaches. They remember 1998 for all the wrong reasons. Can't blame it on the ref too many times, you know, it was just all of our fault. You know. That year in Oklahoma City, TCU lost in the first round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. It was a close game until the second half. Trying to make a couple of adjustments and defensively we did. The final score, 96-87 Florida State. And for the next 20 years, the Frogs never returned to the tournament. But now we're a winning program. Well, they're going to the Sweet 16 this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to beat Michigan State. But no one's thinking about the past. All eyes are on the present with Coach Jamie Dixon at the helm. And the last two seasons, he has more wins than 10 former coaches. And most importantly, this season, he brought TCU back into March Madness play, a feat that doesn't go unnoticed. Yep. Do you hope, do you pray? that you don't have to wait this long to have one of these moments again. I don't want the Titanic to go down, and I don't want uh, Quinn as president. So yeah, I hope the same thing happens, I guess. Fans hope they get a win tonight. No doubt in my mind, But if a loss comes, <laughs> they pray they don't have to live through three presidencies to live this moment again. Now, fun fact, John, if you count tonight's appearance in the last 47 years, TCU has only made four appearances in the NCAA tournament before 1998, 1987, before 1987, 1971. So you can see why fans are so eager to break this dry spell. In Fort Worth, Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News. Yes, you can. Thanks a lot, Matt. Appreciate that. Of course, now.